All right. So we'll just give it a minute. How's the um? And then you can always um, obviously film all the other aquariums a little bit. I know we will do, but I mean, well. having two turtles turn up live is, you know, fairly exciting. So we'll try and get that going as well. Eh? Are we allowed to film that? Beautiful. <laughs> I sort of looked in. <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. Let's just check the angle. No, that's good. So we'll give four or five minutes until it starts. Good thing about using the laptop with this, if the stream drops out, you don't lose it, you just go back into it. Mm -hmm. So I can go into here. So this is us. So then you usually wait for a little bit until people... Yeah, so we are join. live at the moment here, and then we're going to here, that's the two different platforms. So we're live on both the Twitch platform and YouTube. And what happens is with here, everything's in one chat on the website. Okay. It just, nice. it, 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 it's, it's like a, another level to what we used to do before. Because mm -hmm. we, before we just run it out of the phone, then try and link the chat. Just a nightmare. All right. Hello, pub test. How are you, mate? We'll give it a few minutes and then we'll start. Okay. This coral that you grow is beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Yep. Um, so you reckon those two turtles that got rescued from Ugarup will be here this morning at some stage? Yeah, so Not too far off? Depending on the weather, I guess, when the time is Yeah, the that's traffic. right. And Jen, you know, when they arrive there, pick up and stuff like that, they often have a chat and see what's been going on and catch up on things as right. well. So sometime this morning, we'll see. Okay, no dramas. It, things just like evolve really quickly during that time of year when the weather. Oh, is they do. Like this. They reckon we've got some quite bad you weather almost, coming between you now and August. That door and film oh, out from the inside and show the people how bad the weather is. That is a really good idea, but we'll do that after we yeah. explain it, eh? Yeah. Oh, excellent. All right. So, hello, Devil Rocks Gaming. How are you, bud? Welcome to the stream, mate. Your eyes are good. Hey. Can you see them from here? Yeah, Sith Ural as well. How are you, Devil Rocks? Good? After you've seen the username that many times, you yeah, recognize you recognize it. <laughs> we, we need a couple of beer bottles like they do here, yeah. Axel. But you know the other thing here, mate? Look, you know the easiest thing? Right, watch this. Okay. All right. So, and um, hey, welcome everyone. Have we got a raid already? Hello, Suzade. How is everyone? Whoa, excellent. Yeah, people, we just got a raid from Relic. Welcome, everyone. I'm really sorry about the settings on the stream, the mods will fix it. So, basically, um, one of our streaming friends and sister communities. Relic has just raided us. We've already got 271 people in here. Can we just have a shout out for Relic, please? Welcome, everyone. Hello, Relic. How are you, my friend? Oh. Oh. Dana, how are you? Welcome, everyone. I'd like you to meet Axel. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Axel is from the Dolphin Discovery Centre here in Bubbury, WA. For today's stream, we've been given exclusive access to the Discovery Centre. Now, today is going to be quite an interesting stream because what we're going to be doing is this is a sea turtle rescue and rehabilitation centre. Thanks to Axel, we have exclusive access today as the centre's shut. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a live stream here in the rehabilitation centre with the turtles that have been coming in. So if you open the door, I'll show them. So this is why we're here, if you open yeah. the door, because in winter we have these storms, right? So at the moment, as you can see, see all this winter rain and that, okay? 
Last week we had um, last week we had um, storms with up to 130 kilometer an hour winds. Okay, now Axel is the encyclopedia of sea turtles, right? Mate, you're German. We right? know a little couple when of you're things. inefficient, yeah, you treat yeah. as if you're stealing. Yeah, all right, pretend, just calm down. Okay, so I'm going to hand over everything to Axel. We have the road lapel. Um, like dual channel receiver microphone. Good, there you can see it, great. Yep. I'm there, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the camera work. I'm gonna hand you over to Axel because we've got a big announcement at the end of the stream. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stream in here for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then once we finish streaming in here, don't go anywhere. We will be live within 10 or 15 minutes. We're gonna go up to the uh, interpretive center then at the end of that stream in the interpretive centre, we've got a big announcement. Um, we're increasing the community footprint of Australis TV, both on YouTube and Twitch, because we are going to be working in with the Dolphin Discovery Centre, but more about that later. And, you know, of course, there's no money being in change, James, here, right? It's just community-based people helping and providing information, but I'll explain that later. So over to you, Axel, and remember... Slow. <laughs> and gentle. Gentle. Welcome to the Dolphin Discovery Center. Like Jim just said, my name is Axel. I'm one of the volunteers. We are an environmental charity. And as an environmental charity, it's everything is not for profit. So we're funded basically through grants, uh, donations, some tourism facilities, uh, restaurant and stuff like that. And that way we fund conservation programs similar to this one here. Um, we're at the moment in one of our buildings called the Aqua Shed, and the Aqua Shed is nothing else than a breeding ground for various species of animals um, or rescue animals, um, as well as plants and things like corals that we then either use for display or we use them actually to create an artificial reef out here in Kumbana Bay and Geograph Bay in southwest of Australia. Um, so it's all part of education conservation research work that we do. Um, the storms might bother us. Uh, for those of you who are not from WA, um, in southwest Western Australia, we've got nine months of the year summer and three months of the year it rains. And at the moment it rains. Um, and like Jim said, it's really severe uh, storms. It is, however, a very exciting time for us because this is the time of year where we find a lot of uh, stranded turtles. They are sea turtles. Usually in this area of the world, there are loggerhead sea turtles. That's an endangered species. Um, and why do we find them? It's quite simple. They hatch in the tropical parts of Western Australia, uh, Mingalo Reef, uh, into the Kimberley region. And then they travel on the so-called Lewin Current that shapes around the Western Australian coast, goes around into the southern coast. And these turtles, while after they hatch, head into the sea, they hit these warm currents that travel in them and their current keeps them warm and is a conveyor belt. So that way these little turtles that only weigh between 30 and 150 grams when they leave for the ocean, um, basically travel without using too much energy. Uh, they just hit a roadblock and that roadblock down here in the southwest is these winter storms. So when they hit a winter storm, literally they get kicked out by heavy storms out of that warm lewing current hit our cold winter water, which is around 14 degrees, and really, really rough conditions. And as they are very small, they very quickly cool off, their metabolism shuts down, and with that, they can't fight that weather anymore. They stop eating because the metabolism shut down, and with eating, they lose their water source as well, which comes from food. That basically means the baby turtle gets cold, it gets hungry and it gets dehydrated and it dies within a few days, if not found on time. So these guys get washed up along the southern coastlines, all the way from north of Perth, all the way down towards uh, Albany and Esperance. That's a stretch of, Jim, how much? 1,500 kilometers? Yeah. 2,000? Yeah, give or take. Give or take? Yeah. So quite a big stretch and with a very small population. Perth has two, two and a half million people, but that's just 20 kilometers of beach. The rest right. of the 1,500 kilometers only got a population of maybe 250,000 people. And that means to find these turtles, we've got people heading the beaches with their dogs, walking, running, uh, environmentalists that look actually for animals. Um, and we call them our storm chasers. So these people, like Jim, they go walking along the beach, they look for rubbish, they collect rubbish to remove, 
and they do some conservation work there, but they also keep out for animals in distress. And this time of the year, we've got an endangered species, and these are our baby loggerhead turtles. So I would say we'll take you over into the, what we call the intensive care unit. So essentially, the aqua shed where we prepare food for the animals, um, where we uh, not breed, but we uh, raise certain animals here as well that are in exchange with other facilities so we don't have to take them from the wild. Um, this turns into an intensive care unit within a couple of hours uh, after the first turtles arrive. And as you can see, these are literally these blue taps that you can see here, are our intensive care beds. That's the easiest described. And like I said earlier, when I'm meant they are pretty small, once we look inside the cap, you can see they are pretty small. So this is how an intensive care bed for, looks like for a baby sea turtle. So here we've got our very first arrival for the season. This fella is sleeping at the moment. Um, its name is Yoda. And apparently the power is very strong in that one. That's right. That's what they said. Yoda was found only about five to eight kilometers north of here between Binning Up and Myala. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember That's that one. That's the one we talked about. And you went then for a walk. Oh, I went further south. You went further south. And so it's important that we guys spread out to yeah, cover yeah, yeah. as much beach and coastline as possible. So Yoda was found, that's a nice story, by the way, by uh, a couple, and their cat recently passed away, and that cat was named Yoda, oh. and they had the honor to name the turtle. Oh, so he right. kept the name Yoda, named after their cat. Um, the next one, that, that was only end of last week. Yep. Right? And then he came in here and... The next one was Hunter. Hunter was found at Pyramid Beach near Mandra. Oh, okay, right. Mandra. So he actually traveled then an hour and a half by car. So he was picked up by our CEO. That's what a CEO does for an environmental aid. For sure. Security. So he went up, picked him up, because we are one of the only facilities in Australia that does that sort of work. It's us and Aqua in Perth, the Aquarium of Western Australia. And we'll be doing, with your help, a live stream from Aqua yes. later on, yep. won't we? Because that way we can do the continuation so are, of it. Exactly. We're all under the same umbrella. We're all under the governance by Parks and Wildlife. That's yep. the environmental part of the government that looks after our wildlife in parks and national parks. And these guys are under control of all of this. And we're basically, as a charity, we're not getting paid for it. We're financing it ourselves through donations. Um, but we're doing our part and they'll do their part. The other thing that people don't realise, this is a world-class tourist facility. It is, yes. And that's one thing that we're going to be doing because we're going to really start promoting the community-based aspect of our streaming, which we have done, but not as a bigger deal. But yeah. we'll talk about that yeah. later. Let's, you know. If you want to get a close-up of Hunter, you will actually notice something there. Do you see that bit? you see that? Oh, he got a chunk so, taken out yes. of him. So that would have probably been um, a predatory fish. Wow. Uh, anything from a trevally, you know, a large salmon or tuna. Taylor, Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, they're anything. nasty. See, when these guys hatch, their shell is still fairly soft. Mm. Even a seabird can pick them up and eat them. So, and that's the reason why when they hatch, you need a thousand Yeah, because one survives. Only one survives to adulthood. Adulthood mm. reaches with 20 to 30 years. So their reproduction process starts very late in their life. Mm. And in the first year, we lose most of the baby turtles. Well, yeah. that's the reason for it. And when we see the other turtles later, the larger ones, yep. it will make sense and it will all come together. Now people can imagine why we lose so many in the first year. Yeah, yeah, but sure. But he's called full prey to any fish. Now, as you can see, he's breathing. At the moment, he's resting. Yep. Um, and you can see it looks a bit cool, but imagine if they would be in a big tank now. These guys are so exhausted, they probably would almost drown. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. we give them basically fresh water. Although yep. they are sea turtles. To rehydrate them? To rehydrate them. So yep. their metabolism shut down. Imagine you are really, really sick and you can't eat. Mm. What does a doctor do? He puts you on a drip yep. just to keep you hydrated and he can give you nutrients and vitamins and minerals. And keep you calm. These sea turtles keep you calm. And these sea turtles in here, they warm slowly up from the cold water. So we yep. get them from 14 degrees very slowly to 24 to 26 degrees, which okay. is similar to what they would experience in the tropical parts of Western Australia. But that can only be happen very slowly. If you put that little fella from cold into warm water, cooking. imagine what the what the yeah, mm. you cook him is his metabolism got to suffer more. So this is a slow, slow, slow process. And with that time he warms up, he starts rehydrating through its skin, and that's why they're at the moment in fresh water, and we slowly increase the salinity over a week, 
and the temperature. And with that, within that day, they should start to eat. That's the science of this that's unbelievable, isn't it? And that is a science that actually comes from experience by raising baby sea turtles. Okay. So Hunter was here, and I'll show you quickly what we sort of record. So on here, that's just a shield. You see the, the damages. Yep. And you see these little knobs there? Mm -hmm. They all have barnacles on them. Wow. Yes. Um, so you see here, uh, Yoda had a really large barnacle. And when we put it on Facebook, people said, oh, my God, what's growing out of it? And it was just the barnacle that attached. Now, the good thing with barnacles, once they're in fresh water, they fall off. Hey. But imagine a turtle that have five, six barnacles on their back and they have to swim with it, the water resistance. So I've seen that on YouTube. Yes, exactly. Especially in the States. That's Jasper. Jasper, here we go. Jasper is from the southwest coast, uh, south of Augusta. So okay. around towards Pemberton, down that way. Oh, yep, yes. I know the one. Yep. yep, yep. So that's Jasper, quite active. Jasper also got a missing limb, as you can see here. Yeah, the, the front, front left, left in. Oh, is pretty wow. damaged. But look, they are still growing and they don't mind. Okay. It hurts them, obviously, when they lose and then they're disabled. But it's, imagine you're, you're a child and you grow up and you lose your hand. Your yep. life isn't over. You will start to learn to live without that hand. Yep. A turtle is a little bit like that. Okay. okay? And they're still growing. So the limb will extend and that will all work. And then we've got number four. Um, that's Tom. Tom comes from Rabbit, came from Rabbit Beach down uh, yelling up way. Oh, okay, Rabbit yeah. Beach. So he was found uh, by the, and I mentioned that as well, because there are all some people from Wild Care, um, Wildlife Healthcare from Dunsmore and yelling up. We'll put a link in Bustle the YouTube VOD yeah. for that, mate. Just These to... are awesome because they really roam the beaches. There's lots of people out there like us, storm chasers, and they walk along the beach, they drive along the beach, and they look for animals and rubbish to remove. And yes. Once this, and he's probably one of the smallest ones. Yep. And he's got a bit of a crack in the shell, but that's Ooh. all fine. That's all in brackets, superficial. They, their shells made, is it from keratin? I wouldn't wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what the shell is. But there's is a mixture of it, isn't there? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll I mean, get this some shell becomes harder and harder oh, throughout yeah. their life. But when they're hatching, that's, it's really still very soft. Okay. Um, and look, people, if you're wondering, this is a native freshwater turtle here that's the uh long neck a long neck one yes Thanks. don't put your finger in with a long no neck. Mate. i've actually i've actually hooked them on lures believe it or not yeah hang on we got a good close up on that so these are found in all our creeks ponds oh. and they're the ones that wander over the roads and walk around and what happens is people sometimes mistake them for sea turtles oh no because during a like, when we have a flood or heavy rain yep. they get washed out to sea end up in the drainage on the beach yep. and people pick them up and think it's a sea turtle and yep. they call us and it's still fine we just mm. put them back in the pond somewhere yep. because they're not endangered mm -hmm. uh, they're actually wandering and traveling quite a bit over wetlands and over grass yeah, end yeah, up yeah. in people's gardens they and have they got a pretty by dogs and stuff they have got a pretty good range the other thing is too right um with our um streaming everyone we've been how long have we been sort of a couple of years two now? years almost two years and we managed to organize some sponsorship for the Discovery Center. We won't say yes. from where. But what we've done since we've been uh, working with the Discovery Center, I've managed to organize some corporate sponsorship for the Discovery Center, okay? And on top of that, too, you've got to remember I was born last century in 1970. In the early days, I can remember as a kid down south on a beach, they had a pile of salmon and some hero ran his chainsaw through it, right? And it's funny at times of change because it's now 2022, the stuff that we would do after stream where I'd pick up rubbish and I'd look for stuff and all the rest of it, in the old days, it was like new age stuff, you know what I mean? If you got caught doing it, you sort of got called a hippie. But now, because it's so important and everyone's trying to reverse the cycle, you know, um, that's why I'm starting to do more of the streams where we go across, we'll start picking up rubbish, we'll look for turtles and all the rest of the stuff because it's important. And I mean, hopefully we never find one, but, you know, it could make the difference. You it know does I mean? make a difference. And this is one of the major issues that we have nowadays with society, that people are not empowered anymore. People feel like things are taken out of my hands, and it's not like that. No. Everyone can make a difference, and that's what we try to bring across. And if we have people, couples, children, school classes, that go out, clear the beaches, clear the woodlands, clear the stuff from rubbish, looking out for wildlife, these kids, these people have a complete different perception 
on where they grew up. And I've how noticed that. There's and so you much do less see a hate difference. nowadays. And these do, people you know? realize I can make a difference. And I don't give my, my friend a damn what other people say and do. Mm -hmm. I will show that I can make a difference. And it shows here. These people went out. They found a turtle. They knew who to call. Call us. We yeah. know how to look after them. And in six to nine months, one of these turtles goes back into the ocean once rehabilitated. Yeah, yeah. And their chance from one in a thousand mm -hmm. increased to one in 85. Yeah. Uh, well, when they go out, 80% of them will survive. Right. Once they are being rehabilitated due to the size. And we're yeah. going to show that to the viewers Yeah, later we're going to show you the, the, uh, next, the yeah. next stage yes. of it, okay? Yeah. So, and these people made a difference. Oh, yeah, for sure. And if you walk by a beach or, like I said, a woodland or shrub, it doesn't matter, forest, and you come back with a bag full of rubbish and you remove that rubbish, I always go like, multiply that by the population that you've got in that country. And once in a sudden, out of 60 pieces of plastic or rubbish that you find, it turns into 60 million, 600 million, oh, for sure. and so on and so forth. So yes, we can all make a difference. And this is just one of the examples. And we are here, we are just sick and tired of waiting for politicians to make policies and papers oh, yeah. and nothing gets done. So we'll just take things in our own hands yep. and we get it done and that's as simple as it is. Yeah. Um, so this is basically now six intensive care beds. Yep. Remember last year, mm -hmm. we had 22. That's because we had such an intense winter. If you turn your camera around, yep. all these aquaria and tanks behind us, yep, we they are not from prisons. Here. They are no. all intensive care units and there is another 20 down there. Yep. So as you can see, we then move animals around and there is another space behind here where we can put more tanks. So basically, with increased demand, we can increase the capacity. That's right. But it also comes at a greater cost and a oh, greater time. Because you can imagine, if you look for them, we have to look after them literally 24-7. They get fed three to four times a day. Yep. They get weighed and measured once a week. That's then recorded in these sheets. So we know exactly. We've got record of over 20 years. Yeah. And we can tell you every turtle, how fast it grew, how much it ate, how much it was at release, and all that information. That's important for research yep. and for the future and to prevent issues in the, from the past that we learned. Well, we, um, on behalf of our community, we remember when we donated Turtle as well? Yeah, it's a photo. <laughs> remember when we um, donated yes, exactly. as well? And we, we did that on yeah. behalf of the community yeah. to sort of give something as well as like you allowing us to come in here and stream you know and it's only uh we have a one of the ways how we finance ourselves is through adoptions yeah so we have turtle adoptions dolphin adoptions and uh seahorse adoptions mm -hmm. and the turtle adoption is actually the most popular oh for sure and it starts from less than four dollars a day mm. uh, a month a month yeah a month, relax a yeah. Month. Yeah, Fifty bucks Excel. a year. Yeah. You can adopt our turtle program, and with that, you they basically fund all. This. Axel and I have really good banter now. He's just like now. Remember, Axel's German, right? I'm a goat he herder. Is. He just made a mistake multiplication. He's going to beat him up himself up for weeks over that. Okay, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna get me in my grave. <laughs> Hello, hey, Hello, down there. Guys, come, come here. Do you want to be on camera? Or we're YouTubing. No, oh, she's a shy one. Hi, mate. How you going? Good. We've got there's Bob. And Bob, do you want to come quickly and say hi? So Bob is one of our most senior volunteers, and he's basically one of the people you either see at the Dolphin Center with a red shirt, yep. or you see him doing storm chasing and cleaning up our beaches and coastline. We're and live on YouTube. Would... Say spot. hello, Bob. Come in, say hello. Come in, say hello. Come Just a on, quick mate. wave. Hey, mate, you can't be uglier than me. Come That's in here, Bob. Bob. Come in here, Bob. Come on in. What are you doing, Bob? There we go. Now, this is Bob being his normal, enthusiastic self. Say <laughs> hello to everyone, Bob. Hello, everyone. There you go. All right, there so go. Bob, this is the behind-the-scenes stuff that you don't usually see in most situations, right? But we like to do things from grassroots level and work our out. Bob, you're going to fall over, mate. You need to drink, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically, you see me on camera, but it's really people like Bob, Bob look after yep, the and the other volunteers. Right, and, yep. and the other volunteers. They're in, in here every day, yep. rain, hail, yep. shine, the same time, prepping the food for everything. Yep. Not only do they like do the food for the turtles, they've got the clownfish, and they've got so many other things going on, so, people, and totally faultless in their approach these, to things. These you know? animals only thrive because they are looked after. So That's well. right. And you cannot do that with, well, you know, I feed the cat or I don't feed the cat. That doesn't exactly work. Exactly right. Um, and that's why this is one of the most successful programs there is. Yep. Right? So when our turtles get released, they're usually very big in comparison to others, yep. which is a good sign. Yep. And, and pretty healthy, and we barely lose anything. 
um, anything or anyone or any of them. Um, and the reason for that is because they're really well looked after. Well, that's exactly right. Look, what we'll do is we're going to start doing monthly streams from the Discovery Center with Axel. See right? Row? That's right. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a donation link in the stream. Or that adoption. You, or adoption link, the whole lot, Axel. See? He's just so onto it, you know. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to do monthly streams from here. Now, we are giving up our time, okay, and free of charge. So any donations later on in the streams will go directly to the Discovery Centre for this, like, really vital program here, okay, and we'll organise that for the next stream. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sign out because it's too wet outside to take the equipment. Shall we put for the guys who watch the link on? Then I'll, they can watch one of the videos in the meantime. Yeah, I'll do that in the meantime. I'll, I'll go into Streamlabs and I'll speak yep. to our mods and I'll get that organised, right? So what we'll do is we're going to go up to the interpretive centre, right? We're not going to learn how to speak turtle. So it's he's okay, trying not to laugh. I nearly got him. He's just, this guy is a, like just stone cold when he does stuff, right? So, um, yeah, and what we'll do is we'll go to the interpretive centre. I'll get to that. And then from there, look, um, at the end of our stream in the interpretive centre, we've got a big announcement to make with regards to the community and the community footprint that we're going to have in the area. And um, it's thanks to people like yourself. Thanks for the raid, Relic. Okay. And, um, yeah, so don't go anywhere. Stay on the YouTube channel. Stay on Australis Fishing. We're just going to walk up and get set up. And then once we get set up, we're going to do a stream there for about probably, what, about 30 to 45? Oh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And, 20 then, minutes. and then we'll do the announcement, yeah. okay? Because there's some really big things happening from the southwest of Western Australia, right? This gentleman, okay, is doing a lot of stuff that's just – not recognised for. He's another one of the design behind the scenes people, okay? And what we're going to do with the OzFam, we've got a um, kayak sponsorship that's coming up, right? We're going to show you how we're going to integrate within the community as a whole, right? And we're going to just generate benefit for everyone because the stuff that we're going to be doing is not only going to be seen on the local stage. Do you reckon it'll be seen on the world stage? Yeah. Okay. All right, obviously he's going to have to hide me, but we'll worry about that later. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in about 10 or 15 minutes and we'll start the stream from up the um, interpretive centre, okay? Cool. And what we'll do say is, bye to yeah, everyone. Say goodbye to the turtles, everyone. So that's Yoda, that's Hunter, that's Jasper, Jasper or Jasper if you're and in Sweden. Tom down there. Right, and that's Tom there, okay? All right, whoops, try not to poke Axel in the eye. All right, people, so yeah. Stick around, tell everyone about the stream. We'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes max. See you then.